Hey guys, welcome back to the Mago YouTube channel. Today we've got the Mars Hydro FC 8000. It's their commercial spec grow light, I think the largest in their range. 8000, uh, it's called 8000 because it's the 800 watt version. And you can see it's an eight bar configuration. A large fixture light, pretty much four foot by four foot or 1.2 by 1.2 meters in physical size. And yeah, it's a big light. Specified for the commercial market. Um, so it's DLC and ETL listed. And yeah, it's got um, high-end components. It's got the Samsung LM301B white LEDs with 660 nanometer reds to boost the efficiency and produces a spectrum which is totally suitable for growing all the way from seed to harvest. As I said, it's specified for a 4x4 for commercial um, growers, so-called because it hits a very high average power, which we'll look at in a minute. It also can, um, for uh, regular growers, um, for home growers, you could use it in a 5x5 five five and it would um, perform very well and very give a very good high average power. However, I have tested it in the 4x4, four four, but let's look at the features first. The fixture comes disassembled. You've got to screw each of the LED bars into the end beams here. And it doesn't take too much uh, time. It's just thumb screws screwing the bars uh, via an L bracket onto this beam. You can then choose to mount the driver on top of the bars as I've done here um, with the little um, auxiliary brackets, or you can um, position the driver remotely which is very handy for commercial installations. Got lo lots of um, cable length there as well. The uh, form, it's only about, um, it's less than two inches, about an inch and a half. So about 40 millimeters deep with the uh, driver mounted remotely, which gives it really nice low profile. Only thing I don't particularly like about the finish is the um, cabling at the back, which is a little bit untidy and unsightly. However, what it does enable you to do is it enables you to um, change the distancing or spacing of the LED bars to suit your particular setup to either increase or reduce the density. And you can also unplug individual bars as required to reduce the, um, the total output of the fixture, which is a nice feature. The driver has onboard dimming, so you can adjust the dimming from 10 up to 100% on the driver itself. And you also have um, links for daisy chaining multiple units together and you can control them all simultaneously. As I said, I hung it up in the 4x4 or 1.2 by 1.2 meter space at its minimum recommended hanging height of 30 centimeters or 12 inches. And I did three tests at different settings on the dimmer. That's not the power output, but simply the dimmer settings. And I tested the power um, in each scenario. So I took a, uh, a row of eight and a column of eight, that's 64 measurements with the spot on quantum sensor uh, to record the total amount of power reaching the test area, which is basically the, the plant canopy. And in terms of the test area has was using um, silver mylar walls to reflect the light back in to simulate a grow tent environment. At full power, the light draws 812 watts and delivers an average of 1,298 micromoles across the grow area. This is a very high power level. It's about 30% above what would normally recommend um, growers to use, uh, which would be about 1,000 micromoles. And the reason is because when you get up into this high power level, you have a de basically a decreasing rate of return and an increased chance of stressing the plants. Most growers who will get to these power levels will use uh, supplemental CO2. So they'll have a closed system and um, match the um, micromole or the power level with CO2. So for 1300 power, you would um, aim to hit a 1,300 uh, parts per million of CO2 in the environment. 
It's a very good system efficiency at uh, this power. It's 2.3 micromoles per watt, or usable PPF per watt, which is very good for a grow light um, at this price. I also tested at 75% three-quarter setting on the dimmer, which results in a uh, consumed power of 550 watts. And at that um, setting, the average power was 962, and you got a really nice bump on the efficiency to 2.52 micromoles per watt, or usable PPF per watt. I also tested at 50% dimmer setting, which uh, resulted in a consumed power of 295 watts, and that resulted in an average power of 536 micromoles per meter square per second, and a system efficiency of 2.62 micromoles per watt, or usable PPF per watt. So an excellent result there. So you could use the 75% setting for veg um, in this commercial setup and um, the 50% setting for late seedlings, early, um, early veg. So this is um, not the most aesthetically pleasing fixture. It's designed really to maximize um, performance and deliver a really high output per square meter or per square foot for commercial growers. Um, apart from the assembly, which is um, a little bit, uh, it takes, just takes a little bit of time. Everything else is really easy to set up and uh, works straight off the bat. So no complications there. And uh, yeah, it delivers a really high power. You want to hit those high power levels, this would be a very suitable life for you. Hope you enjoyed. If any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Take care.